So we're going to take a quick look at an add-on. This is called Modifier List. It's free. I'll put a link in the description. But if you go to Edit Preferences and uh, Add-ons and install it, it will have it pop up. Like so you can install these from zip files, by the way. And uh, Modifier List, right? Scroll on down here. And the properties of it is one called Gizmo. And you can auto parent gizmo to active object or always delete gizmo when you apply a modifier or delete a modifier. And so this is good because I came from Max and what this has done is it's kind of changed the modifier list here. And so as you make adjustments to your mesh or whatever the case may be, let's go ahead and pull that out. Add some loop cuts. So it doesn't look like much right now, but basically there's like an apply all button. Right, delete all button. You got a list here still like normal, but you can also search for things. You can also just set up favorites if you want. But let's do a uh, simple deform, okay? So simple deform, bend. This is usually what you get with the simple deform modifier. It's kind of, it's like, yeah, what's going on here? I don't know. It's not that great. Uh, it works off of, uh, it works best with an empty, okay? In this case, it, it's going to want to use the origin point to place an empty. But we don't have to do this manually every time by pressing Shift A, creating an empty, clicking over here, selecting the empty. Uh, instead, we just click this button now and it'll create an empty. That simple, right? And so uh, we can move this empty if we select it. I'm going to hit uh, Alt, Alt Z to turn on that X ray there. So it makes it a little bit easier to get to it. But you can move it around, right? And so now. This object, go back to it real quick. You'll see that um, right now we're bending on X, but if we change it to like Y or Z or whatever the case. And empties in Blender have always been a little bit weird with the uh, the simple to form modifier. It's actually you want to rotate it usually rotate the empty on X negative uh, ninety. It tends to deliver some of the best results, but you could rotate this in other directions as well if you need to. Just keep that in mind. Because now at least this will let you bend in these two directions, negative and positive. And um, you'll be able to bend on X. But you don't have to go through the process of setting up that empty anymore, which is the best part. And if you grab your object and you move it, it goes along for the ride. So if you were to delete this uh, modifier or apply it, it goes away. Cool. Awesome. Now it doesn't work with just... Um, doesn't work with just this. Okay, and then the negative sign here kind of hit him a little bit, but that's how you get rid of the modifiers now. Okay. But this is one called Lattice that I really like. And it's kind of a pain to set up, to be honest, because you got to create like a cube and set it up for it. And yeah. But um, you just click the plus sign now, and now Lattice works. Okay, so this isn't really anything much different than something like Hard Ops, which already has a, a number of things like this going on, but um, it's. It's more like Max in a way, and it's just, to my, in my opinion, it's just a little bit easier to utilize just the modifier list as opposed to trying to um, turn on like hard ops and coming up here and touching all those or kind of going through these menus and looking for things, right? Shift Q, for example. And you can see here's all your modifiers. Cool. But I like this. I think you'll like it too. So I'm going to put a link in the description. You guys can download it. Try it out. Tell me what you think in the comments. All right. Take care.